Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi on Tuesday led a team of Islamic preachers and medical personnel to Rugan Ado Zubairu Okebukun at a Ayagbon Grazing Reserve, a Fulani settlement in Yagba local government area of Kogi State, to offer free medical services to them. Addressing them, Nasa Ayuba, the spokesman of Sultan Belo Mosque, who spoke on behalf of the delegation, urged Fulanese in the settlement to embrace Western education as well as Islamic education. He also advised them to eschew violence to and shun banditry. Ayuba told them that the team was in their settlements to treat Fulanese who were in need of medical attention. Welcoming to team, Adu Zubaru appreciated the appreciated Dr. Gumi and his team for coming to the aid of the Fulanese. He also said that the Fulanese in the settlement have embarked on an educational quest in order to improve their lives. According to him, many of them have obtained both bachelor and master's degree, degrees. He disclosed that the Ayongbon Grazing Reserve has been gazetted by the state government as a reserve for herdsmen, saying we are happy for the kind gesture offered by the state government. According to him, the reserve has, has facilities like a borehole and a health care health center, noting that Sheikh Ahmad Gumi had been of tremendous assistance to them living in the reserve. Adu Zubairu thanked Gumi and his team and urged them to build schools as the settlement does not have one. Speaking on the occasion, Professor Yusuf Usman said that said the aim of coming to interf interface with them was to sensitize them on the merits of acquiring Western education and to make sure that the full learning is true violence and banditry. Also speaking, she Sanusi Kutuma said when we have people that are educated in the community, they will definitely or they will identify the challenges confronting that community and render help to those who are not educated. He stressed further, when other SME who are carrying arms have the knowledge of the truth that a full animal is a peacemaker, all the challenges of banditry and kidnapping will end. He commended Shea Gumi for his efforts in ensuring that peace reigns in the settlement and to see that Fulani are fully integrated into the society. Speaking further, Mama Tuko Dan Iya or Fika stressed that the importance of such visit to the community is to preach for peace and unity as part of efforts to tackle the insecurity confronting the country. When government supports this peace initiative and work with other relevant stakeholders, all these things will come to an end, he noted. According to him, the Fulani have suffered neglect for many decades. They have nothing to show and they have no means of livelihood other than grazing animals. The military approach has not yielded results. We spent a huge amount of money to buy weapons while we can spend less amount to provide medical and social amenities to them. Members of the entourage were Mamu Tuko, Dan Yan. Fika, the publisher of Desert Herat newspaper, Professor Yusuf Uthman, Sheikh Sanusi Kutuma, Nasa Ayuba, spokesman for Sultan Belu Mosque, Sheikh Nuhu Alafiz, Malam Hawa Jikami Wana, and Malam Sanusi Malum Fashi. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Can you imagine this? In the sense that, first and foremost, what I really want to pinpoint from this whole thing first now these people agree that these fulanis are are violent they agree that they are carrying hams they agree that they are the one causing mayhems nobody will see anything but if it were to if the statement is coming from the it's coming from the south any somebody from the south they will begin to make noise all over the place they understand the fact that these guys are doing this. And who do you think, which community do you expect that you have this kind of people with all this violence and all the atrocities they have been committing and you expect the community to continue to pay and uh, to rob them at their backs, to rob them on their heads and begin to say you are welcome. This is the same thing. Like I've always said, 
these people when you talk about oh they should stop moving from place to place because they are disturbing other people say what is it called source of livelihood as well they don't talk anything about it all they just want want you to do is that the constitution say they can stay anywhere irrespective of whatever they do it is inconsequential but now they are agreeing that these guys are violent they will not tell you that say oh stop a uh, ethnic uh, profiling so they themselves are the ones saying this that these guys they should they should shun violence but now they have have accepted and they agree to the fact that yes these guys are committing all manner of atrocities do you know how many souls they have destroyed and for the fact that they are aware of it the presidency is aware of it tell me why is it that they have not been punished but you want to punish him the canoe you say nam the canoe has done this has done that and that is why you cannot even release him because it is be dangerous it's going to be dangerous to the society but you have said, said that these guys are doing committing all manner of nonsense but you said they should not even be they should not be arrested the board is not even interested in arresting them and he's telling every the old world that say oh the request by the Igbo leaders to for him to release him is so so heavy because of what they have alleged that he has done of course namdekano is going to be so dangerous to like i said looters and those who are benefiting and making other people people miserable it's going to be dangerous to them to their own agenda it's not as if it's going to be dangerous to the society but it's going to be dangerous to their own agenda which which uh, which is detrimental to the Nigerian people. You see? At least I like the fact that they are even, they are agreeing that these guys are committing atrocities, they are violent, that they should shun evil. And the question is that you said they have been marginalized, they have whatever. Have they gone? Did, I don't even understand that uh, the only source of their, their source of livelihood is a what is it called? Is a grazing uh, whatever cows here and there. So tell me other people who like tailors now, like uh, uh, bricklayers, like carpenters, which other source of livelihood do they have? Is government paying them any extra money apart from what they are struggling with their lives to do, with their own hard work to do? Is there anything that government is giving to anybody? I don't understand that you are saying that uh, the only source of their livelihood is they, they are grazing that they are, they are depending on. So who other other people who are in other professions tell me what the government is doing for them? You see doctors today, you see nurses today, you see lawyers today. Is it the government that is providing free education for them? Are the parents of all those who have gone through schools are their parents did their parents not pay for them? Is it the government that paid for them or what? The school, the hospitals, everything is there for everybody to go. I have never seen a place where they will not say, oh. A full and want to go to a hospital. They say, Oh no, don't go to hospital. We don't want you. They don't want to go to school. They say they, they have chosen that one. That is what they have chosen in their life. We have a lot of people too who they say they don't want to go to school, they want to go into uh hand work, and which they are doing their own bits for the fact that the country is not smiling at uh, everybody. Did that make them to take up arms or begin to carry a gun and begin to kill every other person? Because when they are talking, they will tell you eh, they have been so whatever. They have not been concentrated on them as who, who are they? Who, what special species are they? As as they are unto waiting they be. I don't understand. So the governor of a uh, Kogi state or the government of Kogi state has already stated their own ruga for them stylishly. <laughs> so that is exactly what they want to replicate all over the place. It's not going to happen now. Huh? Forget it. It's not going to happen. You can imagine. Hmm. Why staying in the forest? Are they animals? Yes, white animals stay in the forest. What are they before? Yes. Yeah, to treat Fulani or bandits. They are the same thing. Fulani are bandits. Bandits are Fulanis. Yes, of course. What is wrong? Uh, everything is wrong with them. Uh -huh. So why are you denying they are not bandits? Despite your hatred, they are better than a uh, who? Hmm. Well, over percent, over eighty percent are ah no normal human being should be living in bush what is pushing pursuing them from town and civilization if not they are evil people living in city cry of lack of regular power supply yet full and choose perpetual darkness 
Is that the one normal? Who say you cannot live a good life and see a sale in cattle business? I beg they should come out people's uh, from people's land and let peace reign. And also, who told you that when you embrace the because you don't embrace the Eastern uh, a bit Western education, if you don't want sister uh, Western education, face what you feel that uh, is going to be good for you. So because uh, yeah, somebody does not embrace the Western education, so we have to be killing everybody all over the place. If you don't want to go to school, good and fine. That is your own. You don't believe in it. You don't believe in it. Then why would you want to kill other people because of that? If they don't embrace a, a Western education, just like somebody said, if you are doing cattle, whatever, does that mean that you're not going to, you're not going to excel? You're going to excel. But must you not be killing other people because of you don't believe in one thing? That is where the problem is. If they don't want to go to school, fine. We have a lot of people to who, 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 who they don't even talk about a Western education, but they don't even want to, they just, they just say they want to go into business. And that is what they are doing. And they are excelling. So you doing a, a be a, a involved in cattle rearing. It's, it's your choice. In as much you are happy with that. But don't use your reggae to spoil another person's blues. Don't use your reggae to spoil another man's blues. That is what we are talking about. If you don't want to go to school, fine. If you don't want to whatever, if whatever you know that is going to be feeding you and making making and uh, you making money from it, it is your choice. But don't because of that want to go and kill other people. Other people will be doing their own business. You go and use your own to scatter them, and they are telling us that hey, do these people they do do they reason? So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and let's have your take on this. Thank you.